Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide, the amazing, spectacular, the terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, and welcome back to the Baseball Hide, and uh, we're going to do a little, again, play-by-play, -play. Well, the Met game, Mets are now losing 7-6 to six in the bottom of the ninth, uh, the top of the ninth inning, against the Guardians, Emmanuel Class has come in to close the game out, Harrison Bates is leading off, uh, he came in to play center field, I believe, or no, he's, he's pinch hitting in this spot. Uh, Adrian Hauser had absolutely nothing tonight. Um, he's he's a guy that's not long for this Mets rotation. I was very surprised the Mets had decided to put him in the rotation uh, for this start. Uh, he gave up six runs and five innings. It's just time I cut it. And his ERA is now 7.88. Meanwhile, in Syracuse, Jose Buto pitched six innings, gave up no runs, struck out seven and no walks. 3-2, uh, Harrison Bader's up, 3-2. Now, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't know how long this inning's going to last. I'm going to have a little more fight than they did last night. Let's have a few home runs in this game. Ground ball to shortstop. Ball in the dirt. Naylor makes the play, one out. Um, Mark Vientos has to play, okay, folks. He has to hit, get his chances to get his at bats. He has to play. Brett Beatty is not a major league hitter right now, and in fact, I don't even think he ever will be. I don't think his bat is fast enough. Vientos' bat plays in the majors. He swings and he doesn't miss too many pitches, and he hits the ball far. Is Francisco Lindor. I'm going to have a separate video on him uh, because I didn't think about it much last night, but then the more I thought about it today, I didn't really care for him taking that bound uh, late in the game last night when the Mets were losing when uh, he made that defensive play. But I would mention that defensive play was close. They had to go to the replay. And, uh, you know, it's very, he's, a bit of a, he's getting to be a bit of an embarrassment, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, not, I'm not too enamored with him right now, and, and uh, his the act that he pulled on on a Monday. But uh, um, I will mention that tomorrow I will not be here until after the game is over. Maybe we'll have a live stream. Ground ball up the middle, overthrows it. The shortstop the doors on at first. I would assume this will be a single. Because Lindor does have speed. He does run hard. I don't play, so uh, I would think that this is a, this will be a lot of, but shorts, I really went very far to get that ball. So, man on first, P. Lonzo will be up. So, you know, the, Met, the Mets, you know, they're playing well enough to lose. That's what they're doing right now. Like I said, Either they get the offense, or they don't pitch, or they pitch, or they don't hit. Uh, they have a good game, the bullpen blows it. They have a good game, they have bad defensive uh, play behind them. The Mets have the second worst defensive run saved in Major League Baseball. Behind, uh, they're just ahead of the White Sox. Coming into the game on Monday, the Mets were negative 28, which means they gave up 28 runs uh, because of bad defense. Class A throws over the first. Lindor slides back. One and one to Alonzo. See if Lindor runs. I don't think he's going to run, but swing and a miss by Pete. Pete's up to 235, by the way. Batting average is starting to creep up. But, uh, uh, that RBI total is way, 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 way down. You get they can get that total up very quickly, you know, over a hot streak during a week. But right now, that total is really low. First, second, double play. And that's great. Pete hit a ball to the first baseman. First baseman to the shortstop, and the shortstop to the pitcher. Double play at the end of the game. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll say. Lindor should have ran. He should have ran in that bad. <laughs> I don't know if the Mets are just kind of lingering on here. I don't know if they're in shock or they're going to go to replay here. It seems like they're ready to leave yet. What's going on here? Umpires are talking. Let's see. Okay. Okay, he does the bouncy problem there. I don't see a problem there. What's the problem? Ah. Seems that class A did not touch first base. Another great call by the umpire. I would mention they will not be robo umpires at first base, too. Mets aren't challenging it. The game is over. They should have challenged it just a hell of it, by the way. If you got a challenge, you're getting this late in the game, you challenge it. But uh, that's besides the point. So the, the Mets have lost 7-6 uh, in this game. Adrian House had nothing, and uh, he, he's not long for this team. I would expect that he'll be sent off to the Phantom Zone uh, fairly quickly, to be honest with you. I don't expect him to be around much longer. The Mets are now six games under 500. With uh, Jose Quintana going for the Mets tomorrow. Uh, as they say here, Mets lost 14 of the last 15 into league games in the row. Wow. I'll tell you, the Mets have such a strange uh, sort of stretches here of late. Um, it's, like I said, they get the pitching. They don't hit. They get the hitting. They don't. They don't, they pitch well. They don't hit. They hit well. They don't pitch. You know. Um. But that's what you get with a mediocre team. Right now, they are about as mediocre as it gets. Um. And they're still in it because that they're because that they're wild card. They're still in it. And tomorrow, like I said, there'll be a day game. Uh, maybe there'll be a live stream in the evening tomorrow for you to keep an eye on. Uh. Yeah, so Quintana's going up against Tristan McKenzie. And the game starts at 1 o'clock. I will be home probably around 5 back here, back at the new baseball hut. Uh, but this this is, again, uh, this is another situation where you have a team that they're not doing anything right. And you're going up against a team that does, is doing everything right in the Guardians. Um, the Guardians have gotten good pitching. They, although they gave up six runs today, they still made out. Uh, that's really the difference between the Mets and, and, and the Guardians right now. Just to use the Guardians as an example. Uh, and that mud sucker, Jose Ramirez, boy, he hit that ball in the fifth inning, boy, off of Hauser. H Hauser was like in shock. You ever, fa you ever faced this guy before? There was a guy named uh, you know Jose Ramirez that uh, can hit. He didn't think that little guy could hit that ball over his head, but he, he could hit that ball over his head and hit it out of the ballpark. We know all about Jose Ramirez. He's a great young, he's a great, you know, little guy. <laughs> great player. But yeah, the Mets gave up a lot of home runs in this game. Um Deakman, after he gave a two-run home run to Fry in the uh I believe in the, the fifth inning, the sixth inning, uh just went nuts. He was throwing the water cooler around. Uh his walks per nine innings. Coming into the game, he's walked 13 batters and 21 in the third innings. Or 15 innings. What am I talking about? 13 earned run, 13 walks and 15 in the third innings. That's unacceptable. You cannot win with a bullpen like that. You cannot win with that kind of a bullpen. And the Mets have it. Uh, the Mets are going to bring in Edwin Diaz in the eighth inning. And the Mets were up by three runs, but then when the Mets... Uh, Got a little bit closer on the two and homer by Stalin Marte. Edwin got the hook. He didn't come in. They, you know, uh, Mendoza brought in uh, Reef Foley in to finish out the game in the eighth inning. But boy, oh boy. How Edwin Diaz is sort of falling apart. But he'll get it back. It's just a, you know, we've seen him go through these these uh, spells. Hope it's not a season long spell uh, like he had five years ago. But. This is sort of my reaction to this very uh, lousy Mets team. This lousy Mets loss. Um, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> that's the story. That's the story, folks. I don't, I don't know. You know 
I mean, really, just the shrug your shoulders at this point with this club. Yeah, and they are putting up a fight. It's not like they're not, but just, you know, just, just not work it out. Let's put it that way. Well, thank you for watching this video. We'll be back in the near future. Uh, like I said, they'll the probably be live stream tomorrow on, on, on Wednesday. Uh, there'll be very a lot of active videos over the next couple of days. And, of course, hit that subscribe button before you go, and I'll see you later.